Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to take a train journey that's not been possible for the last 55 years. Yes, that's right, we're going on the Leavenmouth Rail Link, which is the latest extension to Scotland's railway, a new six mile reinstated line from Thornton in Central Fife out to the coast at Leven. As you can see on this map, Leven is on the right in the centre and there's an intermediary station of Cameron Bridge which acts as a park and ride. The last station before the junction is Kirkcaldy, which is why we're starting here today. This is the 2nd of June 2024, which is the opening day for the public on this service, although there's been a few preview trips before. We're going to catch the 1304 service to Leven, which only stops at Cameron Bridge on the way. This is originated in Edinburgh Waverley. The train consists of Class 158 two-car units, and in this occasion there's two of them coupled together. So here comes our train. We've uh, boarded our train now and we're off. Now uh, we're going to leave Kakori in a north-easterly direction as we head to Thornton Junction. In the past this used to be a major station and connection point for passengers from all over Scotland, but now there are only railway lines. The passenger view between here and Thornton is uh, not the best as it's mostly bushes, so we're going to skip forward now and to just before Thornton Junction. Over to the west, out the window, uh, is the new town of Glenrothes, which has the uh, Lomond Hills as its backdrop. Unfortunately, they neglected to reroute the Fife Circle Line through the centre of the town when they built it, a decision they possibly regret today. The Fife Circle route now branches off to the west here, with a single line going down to Glenrothes with Thornton Station. The triangular junction now uh, joins up again from Glenrothes at Thornton North Junction, where we see a single line coming in from the west. We now cross over the East Coast Main Line and head east on the new Leavenmouth Rail Link Branch Line. And so we're on to the Leavenmouth rail link itself. Leavenmouth is typically referred to as the towns of Leven, Buckhaven and Methil, which are close by each other. Further north from Leven is the attractive area of the East Nuke of Fife, with its uh, pretty picturesque villages of London Links, Lower Largo, Pitt and Ween, up to Crail, uh, and round the coast to St Andrews and eventually Lukers, where we regain the railway once again. I'm not sure if you can walk across the bit. 
We're now going to show you the whole route all the way from here to Leven and the viewpoint will be uh, from a passenger looking north. Looking the other way south, uh, you'll be able to see that in a separate video. So sit back and enjoy the view as we follow the various rivers all the way to the 4th estuary at Leven. We're now crossing over the River Or, which uh, from the junction has been to the south of the train. This river merges into the River Leven further up and we'll meet it again as we cross the Leven at Cameron Bridge. We're now approaching at Cameron Bridge. Uh, first of all, we cross over the River Leven twice. Uh, this is where the major Diageo Cameron Bridge distillery facility is located. Uh, you can only see it out the other side of the train window, so it will be available in our second video. This area here is where the original Cameron Bridge freight and passenger stations were located. As you can see, it's now just bare ground as the station has been moved to the other side of the main road. I wasn't planning to go there. 
<laughs> so I think we're good. I think we've made it both ways now. Five. Passing uh, the Fife Heritage Railway, which has uh, diesel and steam trains and can offer you a short ride into the woods. You can also drive a train for a fiver. Uh, we recommend a visit to this railway, it's very good, uh, open on Sundays. And we have a video that we made from there, which I'll put a link up at the top. They also have now acquired a Class 313 from Network Rail, so an added attraction worth your while. Now, this is on the outskirts of Leven and we're just entering into the main area, going under Sawmill Bridge and we encounter a couple of junctions before we get into the Ralalong station, which has been specifically designed to accommodate large charter trains. So here we are and welcome to Leven for the first time. As you can see the station has an excellent location right next to the River Leven as it uh, merges into the Forth Estuary. Here's our train and of course the station is packed with people having day trips on this nice sunny day and of course I suspect a rather large number of people making YouTube videos. The station itself is a, a round design it's unstaffed, but uh, as this is a stapling point for uh, maintaining the trains, there is staff accommodation. Inside the building there, there is uh, passenger information and, of course, a ticket vending machine. 
there's a, a 133 space car park uh, right next to the station which is also situated next to the Leavenmouth swimming pool. The line here used to continue over the bridge to a uh, metal power station which has since been demolished. It was a large brooding structure on the coastline immortalised by uh, the Jack Vetriano classic painting. You can see many of his paintings in Kirkcaldy Art Gallery. So let's watch the train we came in on depart back on its trip to Edinburgh Waverley. Across the road now from the station and we have uh, Leaven Bus Station and also right at the end of the high street so everything is very central and located next to the station. No buses to see today though but the high street as you can see is buzzing with a carnival atmosphere as uh, everyone is celebrating with this uh, craft fair and uh, there's live music as well all in aid of the Leavenmouth Rail Link reopening today. So let's uh, take in the atmosphere of the scenes around the town. Lower Largo is also famous as the birthplace of Alexander Selkirk, who provided inspiration for Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe. This uh, fine statue of him can be found in the village. North Berwick Law, of course, is across the Forth and uh, is next to North Berwick, which has a railway station. Imagine if it was a ferry from there to here. You could have a massive circular trip. <laughs> And that takes us to the end of our video and our trip to leaving today. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Join us again for a trip back to Kakodi where we have all the views looking south. Thanks for watching.